Hey Scrubs, this is Retro, and this is going to be the final video that adds mods to our next gen mod list. There's going to be one more video after this, which is going to be basically um, some tips and tweaks uh, and some recommended tweaks from me and the boys over on my Discord, some things that we noticed that could be improved or changed in a positive way. Um, that being said, this video is just going to be one part. There's going to be a part one in the description. It's going to have all the mods that we need for today. The mods today range in complexity from something simple like having no collision with your followers so you don't have a situation in which you get stuck in a doorway or in a cave, you can just walk right through them like they were ghosts. It's a lifesaver. Also we have a follower framework. We have a mod that adds fire and ice and shock effects to weapons. We have some special artifacts, improved textures for things such as treasures that we're going to add all around the map dual wielding block which is essential for me um don't know why that's not in vanilla balancing probably make a bought combat system balance it by taking things out anyway um we also have a dodge roll mod we have some underwater treasure we have another quality of life mod which is reasonable sil silver hand which means that when you come across the silver hand in the world they're not just going to aggro you straight away that's unrealistic they are werewolf hunters they're not bandits Okay, that being said, go to part one, download everything in the description, and come back here. Let's get into it. Oh, also, if you're not subscribed, please do so. Hit the thumbs up, and yeah, party at mine, because we've completed this. Almost. Let's go on with it. So starting off, the bane of my existence, using follower mods and then having too many followers and not being able to get through a door. So let's start with disable follower collision. Excellent, now we're gonna grab Nether's follower framework. We want it for the special edition, followers avoid traps. Yep, yeah, excellent, just click next on that. You don't wanna mess around with the BAT files right now. Next, we're not using any other are we using RDO? I think we might. Nope, no we're not, not yet. Oh. Click next. You want a tick friendly fire? Click next. And finally, we're not using apocalypse or elemental destruction magic. But we are gonna tick the no team magic and we're going to install next up we're going to take summer mist which adds a lot of interesting enchantments once that's installed we're going to install vibrant weapons which adds those fire effects i was talking about fire shock and ice then summer mist add-on for vibrant weapons Zim's immersive, blah, Zim's immersive artifacts. I like to just go with all artifacts. Now, I would recommend leaving all of these at their default value or none and install. I know I've picked different options, but I'm always chopping and changing. For your installation, just click none or don't tick anything and then click install. Next, we're gonna take the chit in goggles and the Drama Goggles and Scouter. Then we're gonna take Smelt Down, which is amazing. It lets you smelt down most weapons and armor pieces into ingots, or, or. Diverse Dragon Collection. This adds a plethora of new dragons. They're really interesting. They look great as well. Do not install Khajiit Speak. Um, that's just here because I was trying it out. So you're going to want Dirt and Blood. And then after Dirt and Blood, you're going to want the Dirt and Blood HD retexture. You can pick 2K or 4K. I'm going to leave mine at 2K. Psych. And then you can choose whether or not you want it brighter or darker. I would recommend leaving it at default for now. 
would you like this as an ESL plugin? Just click install. Next up, reasonable silver hand. Really simple installation there. Now we're going to include uh, install depths of Skyrim. The HT Hidden Treasures alternate texture. Underwater Treasures, which hides treasures in lakes and rivers. And GKB Waves, which adds some beautiful wave effects to the water. <clears throat> Next we're going to take TK Dodge. Excellent. Now remember what we need to do because TK Dodge as an animation set, we're going to need to use Nemesis. So as we've done in previous videos, go to the drop down menu, select the Nemesis behavior engine, click run. When this loads up, you're going to want to tick Ultimate Combat TK Dodge. Now, what do we need to do next? Update the engine. And click on Launch Nemesis Behavior Engine. Excellent, close that down. And we are essentially done with this video. We've basically now completed the mod list. There are about, I'm gonna say about four or five mods that we will add during our tweaks video that will probably be um, uploaded on over the weekend, I, I should imagine. Uh, this is going to be uploaded, what day is it today? Wednesday, question mark. This will be uploaded on Wednesday on hopefully Saturday. The next video will be up and that will be tweaks, load order. So putting the mods in the right place so they load correctly. Um, tweaks to things such as the ultimate camera and thank you for the settings, Rocket Rooster. And on top of that, um, a couple of other mods just to round it off. Nothing too major, just things like um, engine fixes and things like that. So. I've had a wonderful time making this mod list and getting to meet some new people. Thank you for watching. Gently press a like onto this video. Peace.